Hello YouTube and welcome to my next Blender Game Engine Python scripting tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to make a top-down view camera which moves whenever you place cursor near the edges so um, it's actually not that difficult to make and I'm gonna already get in I'm gonna go to input and create new function here called RTS cam and I'm gonna take in two values minimum and speed. I hope you understand. Speed is how fast the camera is going to move and minimum shows. For example, you don't want the camera to move if the cursor is here in most cases. You want it to only move when it's here and the minimum is going to determine how far the cursor from must be from the center to make the camera start to move. I hope you get the idea. Now I'm going to create a new global variable here and I'm gonna it's gonna be most most is lo logic dot most this this is basically the same as keyboard but it offers one good thing I'm gonna create new variable pose and add most dot, dot position and what this returns is to the tuple of the actual most position in screen space it's awesome we get the position it returns one here and zero here however it returns like one point zero point one here but zero point one of x would move in that direction but we want it to move this direction when cursor is somewhere around like here we must make it be minus one here zero here and one here we can do it by multiplying by two and subtracting one but you can subtract one from tuple previous time I tried doing uh, s making a vector from the position and subtracting a 2d vector but I was unable to create 2d vector that's what my problem was I'm gonna now try different approach first I'm gonna import this vector now I'm gonna cast this to vector now I'm gonna make this to be vector 1 and it should not throw anything because we don't execute it yet I'm gonna do uh, position equals input dot rts cam I had value mean here I think 0 0.7 speed is going to be 0 0.1 I think I did take this out yes okay now I'm gonna run it and see oh yeah we don't even return it return pose now what does it do is say um, you can't put in this into vector now okay really sad fact they want me to make it bigger than 2 d vector but sometimes I want it to be one, uh, 2 d vector and it's horrible part of API so I'm gonna do it differently I'm gonna set pose x is most position a zero and I'm gonna do the same for y pose y is most position one now I'm gonna set this to be vector pose x and pose y what we want to do now is whenever it's below minimum we want to discard it and it's easy to do we just do it like this if pose x is smaller than minimum pose x is equal to zero if pose y is smaller than minimum pose y is equal to zero yeah but this won't work out when we have cursor here because minus one minus 0 0.9 minus 0 0.5 all of it is smaller than minimum 
However, we can get a modules of number, which is always positive number. It's actually the value of number without the sign. And we get it using absolute function, which is built in into Python, as far as I know. Okay, and now we have it there, like we want it. Now, let's see if there are no errors. Oh yeah. I'm gonna make this vector consist of three values. The third one is gonna be empty. And now it shouldn't throw errors. And it doesn't, which is awesome. And now we're gonna do a simple thing for the camera script. We're gonna make the camera. Uh, we're gonna apply movement to it. We're gonna make it move. And we're gonna take in position.x, position.y. And we're gonna set it to be false because we don't want it to be locally otherwise we would need to change those parameters a bit um, and lastly we need to put we can actually set the motion to the vector as for the z-axis we have set it to be zero so we can just do position now you can see it moves Okay, however, on the y axis it's inverted. Um, it's because of the way that uh, it's calculating it. So we're gonna do or for y axis, the second one, we can just multiply it by minus 2. And the last thing, you saw it being fast, although we set the speed to be low. We can fix it by multiplying it here by the speed. Um, no, it should be at the end. We should actually place this in brackets. And then we we can multiply by speed. Just, just for concern. Okay, and now if we go back and now we run it. It's throwing error. No, it's not. Why it's not moving? Are we set speed something wrong? Wait a minute. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So I'm really sorry about this. We don't need to place speed there, or it will ruin this part. We need to multiply this vector by speed. I'm really sorry for my mistake. Um, but now it should be fixed. I'm gonna set speed to 0 0.1. Now I've got a question. Why does it move like this? Why? If we determine position correctly. Why does it move like this? Why? Okay. Now it works. Probably I, I must do it here. Yeah. And now we have it working you actually can't negate that minus two you need to negate it here and now when I run it I have this camera rig it moves and you can increase the speed now it moves faster you can in decrease the minimum to something like this Or set it to very high, where only the where the edges of it are capable of moving the scene. Like this, you can do a lot of awesome things with it. And uh, yeah, this is actually it. We have finished RTS camera rig here. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So don't forget to press like and subscribe and. I'll see you next time when I'm gonna record the next tutorial. So I'm gonna say goodbye for you now. See you next time.